Good morning. It is good to be back. Uh, it feels like ages since we picked up the camera, but first things first, coffee. That's better, coffee's on. Um, so, we haven't picked up the camera in over a week and there's a couple of reasons for that. We wanted to have a break after doing our daily vlogs for 42 days and also Israel's gone home for a week. Israel had to go back because her friend has been in America. She hasn't seen her for years because she hasn't got a green card so if she came out of America she wouldn't be able to get back in. She's finally got the green card, come over to the UK. Israel's flown back to see her for a week and um, I've been here on my own. I had a really nice time actually. Um, I spent about five days at like a GNR site. I've been parked up here um, and this is like a free picnic sort of area, composting toilet, barbecue area, a covered picnic area. This last week has been so hot. It's been like 31 degrees every single day. So it's been really nice just to have this lake to go cool off in. It's been really nice just to hang out here for a few days and read and not do a lot really. I uh, headed off to the west coast to a place called Pernu, Estonia's summer city. It's a beach city and there was a festival, a Hanseatic festival. It was like a medieval festival, it was really cool. Uh, it's really cool here, there's like live music and the smells of like roasting meat and just smoke and it's really cool, it's really fun. I'm loving this little festival. It's uh, medieval music and beer, and uh, uh, it's my sort of jam. I've tried out one of the the blind nun, the musnun, and it's sort of like that Kali I had before. But um, so that's kind of sweet. But this one's six percent. So uh, we'll see how long I last today. I'm ready for Isabel to come back now. It's been, um, it's probably the longest time we've been apart from each other in years, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for her to get back. She gets her flight cuts in at 11.20. I think it's been a pretty stressful uh, journey for her. Uh, she, her train got delayed by an hour, so she nearly missed her flight. I'm literally running to make my flight. I might miss it. I run through that airport last. Everyone's going front. Oh my God. Oh. I've seen it, I'm making it. It's time to go pick up Isabel. Oh God, it's hot in here. Hello. Oh, thanks for meeting me. Oh, we're back together. Back together, very nice to see us. And, uh, if you're ever feeling down, go and hang out in the arrivals department in the airport. It is so lovely. Everyone's just arriving, hugging each other, and it just makes you feel really good. Um, and it's lovely to see you as well. If anyone else was with, if anyone else was with me then, I don't think I would have made that flight. I had to run so fast, and my, and my heart, and my, I was so out of breath. And all the staff were saying to me, I don't think you'll make it. And I just kind of accepted I wasn't going to make it, but I was trying my best. Sprinted, and the, the guys at Ryanair, I was the last person to board the plane. They were literally just about to shut the doors, and they were like, you're so lucky. So, I'm just a bit, I'm, like, I'm just so happy I made it. And I'm in Tallinn, I can see our home, I can see La Bamba, and it's warm. Uh, Me and Tom have done a massive food shop, got loads of good food. Stopped at the van again, and we're driving down this hilarious road that's like we've got grass right in the middle of it, trees fashioned top of our van. It's definitely not the official road. We are hoping to find this parking spot. We're very close. Oh, we've hit the money park. This is a really nice this spot. This is a good spot. Literally, the forest meets the it's, sea. So I'm glad it's good mm. because the Bamber has quite a few new scratches. It's worth it though. Yeah, I think it is worth it. Oh, this is so nice. Our own private beach. 
And we're parked here and the beach is here. Really nice. Nice welcome back to van life. Back to van life. This spot is so nice. It is a really nice warm day. It's not been it's not as hot as it has been the last few days. Uh, it's actually been a bit too hot for me the last few days uh, in the van. It's a bit uncomfortable, but today is just like really nice temperature and it's like silent here. We're the only people for like anywhere you can see and it's just glorious. And I think we might stay here for a couple of nights and just enjoy this quiet isolated spot. Isabel was feeling pretty wiped out because she had to catch the train to the airport pretty early this morning. Um, so yeah, we're just taking it easy. I didn't sleep much at all last night because I got the train at 3am. And you're in the pub. I was in the pub till late too, so yeah. Um, I'm suffering for it now though. The gas is actually really running low. We have, this is our spare canister. So Isabel's been really tired. She's just fell asleep and um, this has basically been sleeping since we got here. Um, but the sun is getting quite low now and it is incredible. I mean, look at this sunset. It's just gonna be amazing. Hi everybody. I just woke up from a four hour nap. <laughs> I feel crazy groggy. But my eyes are just in. I'm about to open my eyes and see the sunset. <laughs> We haven't really had that many sunsets on this trip because well we've been so far up north we've been in bed by the time the sun sets so it's actually really nice to have a really beautiful sunset we are now going to close the doors and watch some van lifers on tv and um, we're off what is happening guys we're crazy all right i'm gonna eat my bottle of pasta and see you next time bye it's pretty chocolatey maybe i shouldn't have added quite so much chocolate perfect perfect chocolate pasta